Hi, welcome back to this Arglix BHLM HLWM, so Herbsluft WM. One of the questions came on the, on YouTube. It was yeah. So I said, look, uh, that's great that we have polybar at the top, and there is often the possibility in i3 or OpenBox or anywhere to actually have a second polybar. Now I haven't thought about that. So let's have a look what the code is inside polybar. So polybar is in here. There's a configuration, control find, you type in Herbst Luft WM, and that's the main bar. And there is a main bar Herbst Luft WM extra. So that's great. That means that you actually should do something in the launch. So the code is there. So that we have done was just actually copy paste. But uh, let's open it in the same application. So in here, there is BSP, WM, etc. So here's the second polybar at the bottom. So the code that goes in here, from here till here, is actually needs to actually be commented out, toggle. So that it loads when we control S, save, and then control shift, reload. Let's have a look. While well, it's going to reload that as well, all my things with Discord, Telegram is not there. So we see here the extra polybar is in place. And then the question comes, of course, hey, um, what about then this, this size? Because in Herbsluft WM, you have to say where the bar is and how much cap you need to have, etc. So then you go to Herbsluft WM, auto start. And you could have figured this one out. Super Shift Q. Let's open it in the same application. If you went all the way down, you see here room for polybar on both monitors. So it, we want to have a room from 30 to the top. And the question is, of course, how do I fix it to give more space at the bottom? So that's something I should think about as well. So anyway, this guy is going to be for screen, the screen I'm recording. So I'm gonna take this one. So I need to have an, an, an reverse kind of thing, padding at the bottom. Okay, Whew. so better maybe go for here. Now this HC thing is it's, it's helps client actually. So helps client, and then we need to know something about padding. Padding, padding, um, pad, pad what? Pad zero, pad, pad plus one, that's one thing. And then the other thing is helps Luft WM. Does this have a padding or something equivalent? Let's take a look at the help, not present. My HA, not there. Helps Luft WM, the manual. Is there something in the manual about padding? A lot of things, framing, list monitors, lock on lock things, mouse unbind things, cycle through, split the line top, bottom, left, that's splitting, focusing, raise, shift, remove, rotate, toggle, cycle, add tag, use tag, use previous, nothing is in there that I should here it is. Pad sets the path of the specified model to the specified padding. If no, or no empty padding is given, it is not changed. So, pad up, pad right, pad down, pad left. Okay. So, this one is pad down. What if... What if I say like this what would this bring what would this do if i type something similar let's have a quick look again so up right down left so the third one the third one so i did that super shift r and yeah we got it in one go without looking at it, without reading it, we just found it. 
Um, so basically, what we need if we have a second polybar at the bottom, we get this code. And if there is a single, well, single polybar at top, you use that code, right? This code will be the standard code. That one is for second bar at the bottom. Oh, yeah, oh, it's okay, it's okay. So this one and then that one here. I need to have a number one for screen one. 3030, 30, that looks okay. And the text goes up here and everybody knows what to do. So, save. Single bar at the top, dual screen. And if you have a second polybar that you activate, of course, in the polybar itself first, you hashtag this one out, this one out, and you take that one and that one. Yep, that's gonna work. So there you go, that's the solution. And that's how I got to it, which is maybe even more important. So reading again, a lot of code. All right, cheers.